What's up guys, it's gonna be a tutorial on the eBay app. So the eBay app is available on all of your smartphone devices, iPads, etc. It is a great app. The eBay app is great for sellers and buyers. This video is gonna cover information on both. Some features you will need to access the desktop version for, especially as a seller. All right, let's check out the app. As you first glance at the eBay app, you'll notice that it's very geared towards the shopper, the buyer. And right off the bat, you can see the cart in the top right, where if you have any items that you've been looking at and you're willing to purchase them, this is where you'll finalize the purchase on the app. The next thing is the search bar. The search bar, you type in whatever is on your mind that would describe the item, and you can click from what shows up. So let's say we're looking at the Nike Air Max shoes. We can kind of scroll and see all the different options out there, whether it's brand new or used. With the search, you can sort by all different types of things, like something that's uh, going to end in an auction very soon. So if you're looking to get a last minute deal, you can check out anything being sold. You can also rank the search results by pricing. Or you can simply check out the filters. So if you want to narrow down the items even more, if you want to do something that has best offer and you want to put an offer, you click that. If you want to do auctions, you can click there. You can also put price ranges. So let's say So I put in a filter of $200, $300, an auction. And you can also put in other details too to help find the exact shoes or item that you're looking for. So if you play around with the sort and you play around with the filter, it can kind of narrow down an overwhelming kind of search for you. Another cool feature of the search bar is you can click the camera logo and you can actually take a picture of a particular item instead of actually typing in for the search results. So this is a pretty cool feature. If you take a picture of a particular item, eBay will compute it and try to give you the closest search results just based on taking a picture. So I took a picture of a stapler and it recognized that and gave me a bunch of different options for staplers. Below the search bar, you have a couple different other options. You have categories. So if you're looking to shop based on categories, you can kind of narrow it down from there. And the other thing is deals. So if you're looking for last minute deals or anything of that nature, you'd want to check out any kind of deals. So the first glance of eBay is a lot of different items to shop. So below the search bar is your notifications. This is unique to your eBay account. So this could include um, things that you're selling or purchasing. It basically will give you information that you need to know and it will be in red. So as you can see here, there's an item that I'm selling on my eBay account that needs to be shipped because the buyer has paid. Now, sometimes it will show that you've received an offer or an offer was declined or something's delivered. The rest of the homepage is really just kind of recommendations based on what you're clicking on or what you're searching. So it's using the data from your phone. It's going to try to recommend and offer potential things that you might be interested in. So going down to the bottom menu, let's check out the My eBay. So My eBay is unique to your own account. So as you can see, you have your settings right there where you can put in your personal information, um, all your contact banking information, etc. To the right, you have your messages. So all sorts of messages from the eBay company or different sellers or buyers. You have your watching list. So whatever you end up watching will go here. So you can simply click on different items and click the heart and you'll see it right here. The saved is all different sellers or searches that you would want to revisit. So clearly if you are searching for a particular item constantly, you can kind of have that in here. So just click on it and it will go into the search engine. If you want to save different sellers, um, that you might have had a good experience with. You can simply save them here. And this is kind of like a news feed. Next is the buy again feature. So different things that you've ordered, you can kind of go back and reorder different similar items like that. So if you're looking, like for example, these were baseball card things, I can go and click on more penny sleeves if I need them. And it will give me whatever's available. Purchases is going to be all things you've actually purchased, and it's going to show you information about the seller, the cost, 
shipping information, all sorts of information that you're gonna need if you are a buyer. Bids and offers shows you if you currently have put a bid in something, where you stand, if you need to rebid for an item, an auction item. Also, it shows you if your offers were accepted or declined. So if you're on eBay as a seller, you're definitely going to want to look at the next two, which is the selling and the payments area. So the selling area shows you all your information, your monthly totals, and shows you how many active items you have for sale. It shows you what you've sold, and it shows ones that were not sold, either they expired or you took them off of the listing. So the recommended item specifics is these are things that I already have listed that I can add more information to so that buyers can find these items a little easier. eBay has a feature if somebody's watching a particular item. So these are items that I'm actually selling and people are watching these items. So that makes them eligible for me to actually send an offer to try to get these items sold. eBay also allows you to do different promotions and they do cost money, but you can see here um, these are the rates. So if you are selling a high ticket item and you want to promote it, this might be something worthwhile, but it is an extra fee. So active, if you have a, quite a few items and you need to filter things to find a particular item, you can do that. It also gives you the send offer here as well. If you check out the sold, these are all things that were sold and these are unsold. So selling an item on the eBay app, it's very easy simply click the big blue list an item button. Now, right off the bat, you can kind of use search titles that are already existing or you can create your own. So you start typing something. Let's say I'm going to sell a Mike Trout rookie baseball card. As you can see, there's quite a few different pre-organized titles already out there. I can simply hit the plus if I want that and it will align to different keyword searches that might help my card be found or I can write my own. And I'll simply hit the go button down here. So I can scroll and kind of click something that might be similar to my baseball card that I'm going to be selling or I can simply hit create a new listing. So uploading a photo on the eBay app is actually really easy from a camera phone. You simply hit the big plus button. You can either take a picture of your item or you can access your albums or your photo inventory on your phone. So let's do that. So I'm clicking the Mike Trout card. Now I'm actually not selling this for real. It's a picture off the internet. Um, I can actually touch this photo up a little bit. I have all different options. I can remove the background. I can kind of play around with the filters and the, the brightness of the picture to kind of help it out a little bit. So first impressions are very important when selling on eBay. So you want to make sure that your picture is very good. You can add up to 12 pictures on your particular listing for free. It also gives you some photo tips here. So let's say that's the photo I wanted to go with. I hit done and it's uploaded. When you want to edit the title, you hit the little pencil and you can write all different uh, pieces of information on the title. So the title, you're definitely going to want to fill it with keywords or appealing information for a potential buyer. The item specifics are pieces of information that are going to help your particular item rank in search engine results. So you want to put in as much of this information as possible. So like team, this is a baseball card, but you want to put as much information as possible in there so that the item specifics are as long as possible. Category, you want to make sure that you put the correct category of your item. You can only choose one category. You definitely want to put one that is the most aligned to that particular item. Description is very important. Description should match keywords in the search title and you want to fill it with as much information as possible you know, that could be um, different brand names or uh, information on the product with the fabrics, whatever it is, put information in there. So for the pricing, if you are going to choose an auction style, you have to make sure that you toggle auction on. It totally changes the menu. So 
What's cool about eBay is it analyzes data based on the keywords you put in and it gives you a guide for the starting price. However, you do want to do your own research just to make sure the eBay sort of average is accurate because a lot of times uh, with certain items, it just takes like a little bit of the name. It'd take like Mike Trout rookie and won't necessarily gear it towards that particular card. So you want to make sure and just check other inventory out there to make sure that you're pricing it right so it actually says starting bid average for this particular baseball card is 143 dollars which might be about right but um, you certainly can change this by clicking on it and kind of putting whatever price you want and you can click above it and it kind of shows you all the different inventory that it's basing that analytic starting point on which is pretty cool the other thing you want to do is figure out the timing and duration of your particular auction. Seven days is the typical default standard. Ten days is another popular option. So if you're looking for a particular time to start your listing and you might be busy, you can actually schedule your listing to a particular time. You also can have auction and buy it now or make offer as well. So I have auction on with a starting bid of 99 cents for five days and i have a buy it now also toggled on and it also gives you trending prices so as you can see it would be auction and buy it now let's get rid of auction and just try buy it now so the buy it now menu looks like this you can simply put your final price on there so let's say 350 With the buy it now feature, you can actually put offers and you can set like the minimum amount offer. Otherwise it auto declines. So let's say it's $250 minimum. So when this buy it now is put on, it's going to be for $350. And if anybody makes an offer below $250, it would be automatically declined. You also can schedule the start time. So delivery is another important thing. If you're using eBay shipping, you wanna make sure that you weigh your item and approximately figure out how much it's gonna cost. And you can put the information here with the weight and the dimensions, and eBay would calculate the costs um, for these different services. It makes sense if you're gonna be doing a lot of eBay selling to actually get a little scale. So dimensions, weight, and you can pick the particular uh, delivery and you can put the cost here. You also can just do your own flat fee if you are not doing the eBay label. You can kind of estimate what it would cost at the post office and kind of do it that way. Free shipping, you just click on free to the buyer. You also have the option of shipping internationally and local pickup. So once you set all of these things, you can come down here and you can list your item for free. Another option is if you want to donate something to charity, you can toggle this on as well. The charity donation, you can actually click what you want to donate to, and you can put the percentage of the fee. So before you actually list it, you should preview it. If you want to save it for later, if you're not done, you can simply save it and it will save it as a draft. So the payments tab under the selling tab is where you're going to have all of your transaction information. What you've received from eBay if you're a seller, what you've paid, what you've transferred to your banks. I'm not going to click on that because it's personal information. So this is what the eBay help and contact looks like. You can check out all different frequently asked questions and kind of click on different categories if you need help. It also has a contact us kind of method in which you can kind of figure out certain information. However, it is not the easiest to contact eBay. Recently viewed is again a tab that deals with your data and what you've previously searched and it will give you kind of all the things that you've looked at in the past couple months. Now collection beta is a newer feature of eBay that is pretty cool. You can actually take different items that you have and you can put them in here and it kind of shows data trends on what the item is selling for over periods of time. So you can determine if you actually want to sell that item. So this is a pretty cool newer feature. So let's say, you know, for like a baseball card that I was just doing, you put in the card you have. I don't really have these cards. I'm just putting them in for fun. So Michael Jordan, 
put Mike Trout's picture, even though it doesn't make sense. You put all this stuff in, and you could be like, I, I spent $5 on this card, so let me put $5. And when I sold it or whatever, or when I bought it. So let's say it was August 11, 2021. You can also put in all different information, like item specifics, and uh, you can add it to the collection, and it will kind of give you the market value and trends of that particular card, which is really, really cool. Um, that is a pretty cool newer feature, and you can, again, determine whether you want to sell these particular cards. It kind of gives you like a little stock kind of thing about its worth and value. So. This is recommended, this beta thing. It's a, it's a newer thing that the app has, and I kind of like it. Um, so check that out if you're actually going to be selling. It's, it's kind of fun to put your um, items that you have in there and kind of see how they're worth. So the rest of the menu is another search shortcut. You have notifications, so all different notifications. Let's say you have sold an item, your offer got refused, or your purchase got delivered, things like that, or you got a message from somebody. And the selling is a, just a shortcut to the My eBay selling. It goes back to where we were before. So in a nutshell, that's what the eBay app has to offer. So the app offers most of the eBay tools. It does not offer everything. There are going to be certain things that you will need to do on an actual desktop version. So you'll have to go onto a computer or an iPad and go to the desktop version to do certain things. The website and the desktop version is a whole other tutorial. It has all these other features. It's It's got a lot more to offer. The app is definitely simple and uh, it gives you all the basics that eBay would offer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial on the eBay app. I hope you found it informative and useful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.